What's going on, mi gente? This is Profe Gallo, and I'm coming to you from the beautiful country of Mexico. And in this video, I will show you how to spend your money so that you can travel for free. What? Or at least at a deep discount. You need to hear this, so stay tuned. I couldn't take it no more, so I left the Matrix. So for those who don't know, I am Profe Gayu, and I am a U.S. veteran that moved to the Dominican Republic and now Mexico. And with this channel, I share everything that's related to travel and expat living. First thing first, you need to get a hold of two travel cards. Yes, two travel cards, at least, at the very least. And if you have bad credit and you can't get travel cards, then I would recommend that you look at Capital One. That bank has unsecured credit cards that you can apply for with bad credit, bad history of credit, a FICO score under 600. You should be good for a secured credit card with them. Or you can also try to get the entry level credit card, which is the Capital One Platinum card, which is people would say you need to have at least a 600, but I've seen and read about folks getting that with credit scores under 600. Now, if you don't have the opportunity to get a credit card with Capital One, I also recommend that you try looking at Sparrow. The Sparrow Rewards Credit Card, it is for folks with bad credit or no credit, and you can get that credit card credit score under 600. Now, if your credit score is over 670, you have decent, good, or excellent credit, then you will have no problem getting a travel card. So the four banks that I highly recommend that you focus on, for Chase, I recommend the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Now it comes with a $95 annual fee. It's a Visa signature card and it has great multipliers, you know, 3X on travel, 3X on uh, streaming i mean it has some great multipliers all around great travel credit card now for american express i highly recommend the green card what yes the green card it is the only true travel charge card with american express it has a 150 dollar annual fee but don't let that deter you because it has some good credits on lounge buddy credits also clear credits so with those credits you can definitely make up and even gain with the american express green card it also has 3x on all things travel related restaurants and transit which includes uber which includes tolls which includes buses you know everything as far as transit and travel and restaurants are concerned for capital one i recommend the venture cards uh, for a beginner, I specifically recommend either the Venture One, which has no annual fee, or the Venture Card, which has a $95 annual fee. These credit cards have access to transfer partners, and they're, they don't really have really good multipliers, but they'll give you the option to really gain. For City, I recommend the City Strata Premier credit card. Now, this is a MasterCard but this mastercard is loaded it has amongst the best multipliers that you'll find within the travel card space in the united states and this includes uh three points to the dollar on travel three points to the dollar on groceries three points to the dollar on restaurants i mean this car is loaded and it also gives you access to the transfer partners that city has now, I'm at the point in this video where I'm going to show you how to spend your money. Now, the way you use these travel cards is you want to focus on their superpowers, right? For example, for American Express green card, you want to focus on its superpower, and its superpower is travel. 
3X on everything travel, 3X on everything transit, 3X on restaurants, right? So whenever you go out, whether you're an expat or whether you're a frequent traveler, if you're out there in Buenos Aires and you want to eat some good food, use that travel card, right? If you're out there in uh, Mexico City and you're looking for Airbnb, use that travel card. If you are in Cusco, Peru, and you're looking at a tour for Machu Picchu, right? Use that travel card. So everything travel related with that green card gets 3X back, and you can really, really maximize your points using that travel card. Now, in another case, if you have the City Premier card, the City Strata Premier card, now is what it's called, it gives you 3X back on groceries. You don't have to be in the U.S. to get these points. You can get these points abroad. So if you are in Santo Domingo and you go to Bravo, you, you can get 3X back on groceries with this card. If you are in Mexico City and you're shopping at Soriana, you can get 3X back on this card. If you're in France and you go to Carrefour, you can get 3X back on this card. So it is, you know, really good to really utilize these travel cards because you can really, really maximize your points within the ecosystems of the specific banks I have an account with, and it can go a really long way. Now, this is what you all have been waiting for. This here is what you all been waiting for. And I'm going to show you how to utilize your points. So now let's say you are in Chase. You have all these points in Chase, right? And for me personally, I have a loyalty program account with IHG One, which is the hotel chain that the Holiday Inn and the IHG Continental fall under. So with this program, I have gained a lot of points from my time in the military and my time working for the government, where I would go from base to base, duty station to duty station, and I would get all these points staying at the IHG hotel. Now, I'm out of the military, I'm out of the government, I got all these points. Now what I'm gonna do with it? So, I would like to go to a resort. And Iberostar, or Iberostar, however you wanna pronounce it, it falls under the IHG1 family. So, now I can use my points from the Chase, the Chase Awesome Reward points because there are transfer partners with IHG. So I can transfer, let's say I want to have a five night stay at the Iberio Star Resort in Punta Cana. Uh, and it costs 50,000 points for me to get that five night stay. And I only have 30,000 in my IHG account right now. I can use 20,000 awesome reward points and transfer those points to IHG loyalty program, one-to-one, -one. you transfer the points one-to-one, -one, and have 50,000, and then on my ISG account, pay for that five-night stay at this resort for 50,000 points. That's how you gain. That's how you travel for free or almost free. So to wrap it up, the next time you go to the store or you're shopping online, and you pull out that debit card, you know you're losing, right? Remember me. Remember me. Remember my voice. Remember this image of me on the beach with my laptop working in Punta Cana. Remember this video. And remember what I told you, right? Don't miss out. Don't miss out. Utilize your points, right? Earn points. Use that travel card. If you don't have a travel card, get a credit card. Start building your credit, get that travel card, and start traveling for free or almost free. That's all I got me here today. This is Profe Gayu. Hope you learned something new. Please comment down below on the banks that you think are best for expats, the travel cards that you think are the best for expats and frequent travelers. Like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more videos of all things expat and travel related. Peace.